everybody, Jason with Course Motorsports here. Today we're sitting in a 2021 Ram Limited with the large 12 inch screen. We're going to be doing an installation of one of our new Overland series phone mounts. Uh, to get started with this, you're gonna wanna have a Phillips head screwdriver and that's the only tool you're gonna need for this. We're gonna be installing the Overland mount in the cubby at the top of the radio. So to do this, there's a rubber mat. You can kind of just pinch this part with your fingers, lift it up and just take it out, set it aside. We're not going to be reinstalling that. That exposes two Phillips head screws. We'll remove those, which we will not be installing back in either. So we'll set all that aside. Next, you'll take your package that contains the Overland bracket. It's going to have a nice CNC machined aluminum piece here and some spacers and some longer screws. Once you've got those open, uh, you're gonna take your spacers and you're gonna put them up in these, drop them down in these two holes here and make sure that you have there is an angled side. You want to make sure that the angle goes the same way. And then what we're going to do is just set the bracket up on top here. Next, you're going to open the box that has your ultralock arm, which is going to have an Allen and a screw. We'll remove the arm from the box. You have your adjustment knob, swivel ball, and basically what we want to do is pick a spot where, where you think you might want the arm to land, which will help you determine where the cell phone might land. So I think in this instance, I'm going to put it right here. So we'll pop the plate back off and we'll get that arm mounted on the plate. You're gonna have a screw and a washer. Put those through the plate. Get it mounted onto the bottom of the ball. I'm gonna have this sitting back ever so slightly. And then to be able to actually tighten that screw, it helps if you tighten your locking collar on your ball. Give that a snug, then you simply drop your plate back on the top, drop your screws in through. You might need to wiggle them around and just move them by hand because you want to be able to catch those nuts that are down in the dash. And then you just tighten it down. So, now you can adjust the arm as you see fit, and then you'll open the box containing your head option. This particular one is our MagSafe non-charging. It's going to contain a steel ring with a sticky back. That's what you would stick to the back of your phone if you did not have a MagSafe phone. Uh, a course sticker with a QR code that takes you to our website an alcohol prep pad, which you would use to clean off the back of your phone if you did need to use the uh, steel ring, an aluminum ball, MagSafe magnetic head, and an Allen wrench. We're gonna take off, though we don't need this. We're not gonna use the Allen wrench or the ball because that's already built into this mount. So all we need to do is pop out the MagSafe head. We're gonna remove the locking collar from it. We're going to remove the locking collar from it, drop it over the top of the ultralock arm, and pop it down on into place. This is where you're going to aim as you see fit. I think I'm going to lower this something like right there. Tighten everything down. 
lastly, you would put the steel ring on the back of your phone if you needed it. This happens to be a MagSafe phone with a MagSafe case, so you simply just put it in place and that's all there is to it. You can obviously add more 